Uh, Steve, a lot of my friends are asking a lot of questions about the new fare tax system. Like, uh, how will it affect people who are uh, working here and they're earning money, but they're not paying taxes? How will that affect them? Okay. Well, Dylan, I was a tax attorney for a long time until I got fed up with the system. The fare tax gets rid of all the problems of the income tax, plus it's a much more sane economic system than we have now. And so it eliminates all of those problems we have. It eliminates almost all the evasion. It eliminates all the people who are here not properly paying their share of the cost of this government. When you go to a big box store, if you go to Walmart, and frankly, 92% of the sales tax is collected from 8% of the stores. But if you go to Walmart, you're going to pay your tax there. You're not going to evade it. What's going to happen if you go to Walmart and you say, oh, I don't want to pay sales tax today? That's right. They're going to laugh at you. You're going to pay your tax. They're not going to evade the tax. The evasion rate under most people's estimate, even the IRS says it's 18 to 20 percent. Most people think it's 33 percent or more. Evasion, meaning that it's not being paid. If it were being paid, we would not have a deficit right now in our budget. Right. The fair tax fixes that because it's much more difficult to evade the evasion rates. If you're going to have 10 percent evasion, that means that 90 percent of the stores don't pay any tax at all. It's not going to happen. So what you're going to have is you're going to have a system that's fair, you're going to have a system that's simpler, and you're not going to ever have to worry about filling out these forms for the government. It eliminates all of the problems that we have with a 77,000 page IRS code which nobody understands. And I mean nobody. And that's the secret to your future being even better than your parents.